one thing that bothers me the most is that a lot of people are satisfied with what they have right now there's this thing called settling for less and people are happy with that we don't want to maximize our full potential and it always confuses me me to me dissatisfaction dissatisfaction i can say this way dissatisfaction is a creative state that's for me when i'm dissatisfied i figure out ways to improve myself i figure i figure out ways you know to improve my life i figure out ways on how my life can be better that's me so dissatisfaction for me it's a state is a creative state but i've realized a lot of people around me i just satisfied you know with settling for less i feel like the human mind is limit there's limited possibilities of what we can do but a lot of people we don't take advantage of the potential that we have we don't tap into that full potential it's either because we're told in school that we're dumb it's either our parents or our family have told us we're dumb or people around us have told us what's possible and what's impossible for me i've been a person who like i don't listen to people that sounds arrogant though i'm a little bit arrogant so that's okay mm, am i i don't know i've been told a, a, a while ago but you know that's people's opinion so that's none of my business as long as i'm getting to achieve my goals that that's what's important to me because people come to you with all these ideas about themselves and they try to project all those ideas on you i've been that person that if people come up to me and tell me like oh you should be like like you know so sometimes it's okay to listen to other people but if they're trying to control what you think or how you do things or how you operate as a human being that's when you got to feel it out and figure out what to listen to and what to not listen to so that i think that's the process where people start settling for less is because they listen to what other people are saying to them about their own lives but you only live one life so i mean every time i always think about dying like i always think about my coffee going down 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 there so every time i i i start like i start thinking of something of an idea and then i'll be like oh i think people are going to feel this i'm gonna be like damn i'm still gonna die though so why not do it i only have one life so if i want to do something i just go ahead and do it i don't have to i don't have to think about it i just go ahead and be like okay this is what i want to do Oh, people are going to say this, but Tap, you're going to die. You only have one life. So you got to do it. Do it. And it, you get people coming to you because people people, the, people want to see you in the same position that you are, believe it or not. Not a lot of people want to see you doing better than them. So every time they'll try to put you down, I had friends. I, I, at some point, I have a friend. I, I still love that friend. But I, I realized with some other people... You, they're always negative. You can't talk to them about the, what you're working on, about the future. They always tell you something negative, like, oh, but this this is going to, but, but, but this is a, so, you know, I, I, one of the friends I used to do that, I cut him off, but the other one, I'm like, man, I really love this guy. I'm going to keep him around. But when I keep him around, what are you going to be doing? We're just going to be drinking Heinekens over the weekend. We never talk about anything personal that's going on in my life. He can tell me about his life, but I'm not going to share with him the great project that I'm working on and other things, you know. So I, 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 I'll, I'll just keep it like that. Because, you know, it's, it's some other friends that help in other aspects of your life. And they're not really helping in other aspects of your life. Then you get other friends that that are that, that that understand what you're working on that encourage you that motivates you to do better i do have a friend of mine what we always talk about is like you know we, we try to put positive thoughts in our head like oh i'm going to get uh the tesla model uh the model x uh the one with the, the doors that open like this that's for the wife oh yeah the wife can have that and then i'll have the Porsche box to uh you know oh now nah, we're gonna get the Porsche Cayman for you the SUV data we're always talking about these things you know all these great things about amassing wealth buying uh, things in California buying mansions in California you know getting some money there that's that's the thing that we always talk about that's the type of friend I keep around that's the type of friend I talk to about my goals and things like that but with that same friend I cannot talk business with them because he's so critical of himself and is very uh how do I say this uh if he's very risk averse is that the way i don't know what the word when somebody doesn't want to take a lot of risks that's him so i understood that about him so i understood like with some other business ideas i'll tell him later at a later stage when i'm already working on it so sometimes before i dive into it i won't run the idea with him because i know you bring these ideas into my head because he's not a risk taker is me so you know with your ideas be careful 
on how you, you 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 approach people and tell them about it because that might discourage you and you might not be able to do what you're supposed to be doing. So do not settle for less. You can do more with your life right now. Believe it or not, you can do more with your life. You can be in a bad situation right now, but that bad situation can change. It's all about thinking, positive thinking and working towards, you know, changing your life. It doesn't happen overnight. For some, it does happen overnight, but it's a process. It's called the compound effect. It's bit by bit, bit by bit, bit by bit. I'll give you an example. I started, uh, you know, befriending people online, entrepreneurs, fellow entrepreneurs online. Those people were just ordinary people at that time. That was like probably like six, seven years ago, right? Six, seven years ago, seven years now, those entrepreneurs are successful and most people are in my circle. So now if I'm doing something, I talk to those people and they've known me. We have seen each other grow on social media because because when I was on a jet, I think I'm talking about something else, but you know, it's, it's relevant to the topic because when I was on this journey, I tried to look for people that are on the same, on the same journey as me. I tried to attract the same entrepreneurs or like, you know, the same people that are into, into entrepreneurs, the same people that are about like, you know, developing themselves as human beings. I try to, you know, to connect, not to, to really talk to them, but to keep them around and see what they're doing so I can get inspired. So that's how the, 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 my process started. And uh, I remember I used to have this, uh, this girl's dating, right? Uh, so she, she asked me one day like, oh, can I, can, can I see your Facebook? Because, you know, girls, they think you're always doing something, right? Okay, cool. I gave her my Facebook. So she's going through my timeline. She gave me my time, my, my phone in like uh, probably after 10 seconds. She's like, your Facebook is so boring. Yeah, it, it's, it, to her it's boring because this is the stuff that I've kept. You know, people like drama. People like controversial shit. If you look, if you looked at your Facebook, there's like people fighting. This person is just full of negativity. Mine was full of positivity. People talking about positive things. People building different businesses. Uh, you know, the economists are talking about what's going on in the world. It's just a whole lot of things that 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 improved me as an as an individual, which 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 is what I call like compound interest. Like I was digesting all this information bits by bits from every from my social media, from the things that I'm keeping around me. So with that, I understood like there's more to the world. There's I, I understood there's more to me. There's more potential in me. I can't settle for less. And up to now I know I cannot settle for less. I want to be a billionaire. So I'm working towards being a billionaire myself right now. Day by day I know one day with time, I'm going to be a billionaire. I just have to figure out ways to do it and a way to approach it in a very effective uh, way uh, if so, so I can do it at a larger scale, solve larger problems at a larger scale and then offer a lot of value to people and then in return, I'll, I'll, I'll get where I want to go. So, so, so with you guys, you might be watching this and you're in a bad situation. Don't settle for less. Try to figure out ways of getting yourself out of that situation. It's not going to happen overnight. It's just one step at a time. It's just like maybe you start one day by just reading a book. Listen to some, some someone say, listen to podcasts. Uh, I have a podcast as well. It's called Making It in Africa. Check it out. Available on all platforms. It's a great podcast. I, I don't mean to, you know, to sell it out like that, but uh, it's, it's, it's a really uh, great podcast. So, yeah. So, you know, don't settle for less, man. There is more to you. There is more to you. I, 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 there is more potential in everybody. We're meant to believe that, you know, we cannot be successful. We cannot do this. I mean, it's all about putting your mind to anything that you want to do. If you want to be successful, put your mind to it. You'll be successful. It's not going to happen overnight, but it will happen. It's just a trial and error thing. Just keep on trying. Keep on trying. Keep on trying. You know, you you get there. You get there at some point. Is it going to happen now? No. It might happen now. You might be, you, you, might, you might have, you know, the right processes or like, you know, uh, the right mindset to make it happen right now. But usually it takes a lot of time for it to happen. It usually takes one to five years for that process and transformation to happen. So it's all about patience and keep on grinding and working towards self-improvement in order to change the world, change yourself first and the world will change. That's just the solution. The politics can change. The government can change. It's not going to really change you that much. So, yeah, that's about it, man. I've been talking for too long. Uh, going to be posting more content and, uh, you know, more entrepreneurs, more problems solved, less problems for me, less problems for everybody around me, which means the world is just going to be generally happy. So that's what I want to see.